Welcome back to Felix Art World. Here, your host, Leticia Felix. Today, I am painting doing the string like this one, but I will do an inversion of colors, meaning the flowers will be black and the background will be this dark titanium white. I will be using this type of uh, string and this string pulling demonstration and my favorite product to make cells is this Liquitex Flow 8 really nice no cleanup required after your paint dries up you will not see puddles of oil with this product it is wonderful and the black I'm using is golden this is a really black black, carbon black, really nice, beautiful. You don't have to use a smash as you do a smash paint as you do with this other color. You need a little more. And this is a titanium white and medium flow, flow troll. That's the medium I'm using for this session. So I'm gonna add a little bit, a few drops of flow aid, and then I'm gonna add some black that I already had pre-mixed, prepared, blended with flow, um, with flow troll, yes. And just give it a stir. Mm, should I use more? Uh, no, maybe not. So we'll just set it aside. If I need more black paint, I'll just add more as I go. So in some sections, I'm speeding up the video and I'm getting this string really wet, saturated with paint, and I'm going to cover my base, my surface. And I'm working on wood. This is a wood board. And I, the next step is to spread it out really well with the sponge. And also I didn't, the, this base paint does not have flow aid. It's not a good idea to have uh, flow aid or lubricant or any kind of oil in your base paint because then you get cells. You will not see them easily, especially if it's white on white, but they will be there. Anyhow, so I'm getting complete coverage. Plus, I also have a cup with water next to me, and I put brushes, whatever needs water goes in that cup with water, so that my sponge won't get ruined. All right, I got complete coverage. Now it's time to make sure the string is fully saturated with paint. Very carefully, I grab it, and I... I like to constantly clean my fingers, especially right before I add the, the, the string to the surface so that I don't splash paint all over the place. Just to keep it clean. That's just me. I, that's how I like to do it. All right, I'm making loops and like squiggly lines, like an S-like shape, making sure the whole string is in touch with the surface let it rest for a bit about a minute so the paint the black paint saturates into the white paint and then i carefully pull towards me not lifting i'm just pulling towards me let it drag it's get up be in touch with the whole surface so just carefully pulling slowly and I got cells beautiful cells I like it I just love it when 
You get cells on the first go. All right. Now it's time to heat it with the torch. Give it some heat, get rid of some air bubbles, and plus it helps uh, the cells to open up as well. All right, the second go for the second flower. Let's see. Saturating my paint. Saturating the cord, I mean, and I'm gonna go curvy. I, I wanna add like a curviness to it. I think it makes the composition more interesting. Some people does it straight, but I like it curvy. Variety, you wanna see variety of angles to make it more eye-catching. Okay, so carefully set it on the surface. No rush. Make sure it's completely touching. Sometimes the string won't touch, so gotta push it in sometimes. I'm giving it time, giving it a minute, which is, I accelerated the video to save time, but the recommended time is a minute. Now we pull carefully. ever so slowly and right here i like what i see i don't want to mess it up so i'm gonna lift now i'm gonna completely lift and just the tip of the string is dragging on the surface now i'm gonna go one more time i want to see more actions i didn't i don't see that many cells so i am hoping i get more cells with this second go on this same flower let's see what happens it's always a gamble always a gamble with this technique with this uh acrylic flowing techniques okay give it a time give it a time now we pull let's see what happens Huh. It's okay. Not what I expected. I really like the first one, the big central flower. But anyhow, that's all right. So that the next one's gonna be at an angle. The next flower. I'm gonna heat it with heat. See if I get some action going there. Yeah, a little bit here and there. It's okay, it's okay. All right, let's go for the third one at an angle like so. Now the string's being a little stubborn, so it's gonna need a little push there. I got to make sure it comes into contact with the surface paint so the magic can happen. Looks a little wacky, but let's see what happens once I pull. Giving it time, making sure the paint gets absorbed by the white paint and slowly pull that's all right it'll do i'm gonna add a little bit just to add to the design, I think it looks kind of empty right there on that bottom right corner. And I'm just, I'm, I'm going to add like tweaks. 
and this black is heavier than the white so the line is sinking it's actually it's like the white is eating the black it gets taken over See that line looks kind of fat, but it's going to get thinner because the surrounding white paint is going to take over. It closes in. I'm going to heat it with heat again to open up some cells, okay. low air bubbles. Let's see. Let's get closer. And this is what it looks like from up close. Now I'm going to let it dry up. I'm gonna give it about 24 hours. I'll just let it dry overnight, check on it. If it looks completely dry, I'll take photos or more video. But if it's not, I'll leave it alone and give it more time. Remember, the drying time depends highly on your weather. Now it's dry, nice and dry. I like it. Overall, I like it. Nice and simple. I'm going to show you other designs I've done in the past. Here's um, the first one I did on, uh, with these colors. Really liked it. This is one of my first ones as well. It's an older piece, which I love the background, but this section right here, I don't like it so much. It came out messed up I might just do it with uh, with a brush you know try to uh, duplicate this one right here try to do something like that by hand not using a string just by hand with a brush and this guy right here the background's really busy I love the flowers I love them this is multiple pools multiple colors I love it. It's, it's just awesome. But the background's a bit too busy. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Say third painting looks awesome or no, nah, third painting really sucks. All right, so here's the fourth one and still kind of a busy background. I use metallic colors as well on the background. It's all right. Maybe I should stick to two colors. And I did a pull. Um, I pull a, a sheet, a, pl a plastic sheet on the background. And here it was just one time that I pulled a string with yellow paint this one was twice, first with blue and then with this deep violet. And here once, only once with the deep violet and once right here, this little beautiful baby one. I love that baby one, came out really nice. All right, now this one, hmm, I really like it. I did a flip cup Flip the cup on that background and then just use white for the flowers. Really simple. And even though the, the background is busy, it still looks nice. I like it. I really like it. Now, this one is a completely different technique. This is, I blew with the straw, blowing the petals. The, I did the leaves on the background first, and that was a swipe, and the petals of the flowers, I blew. Yep. So that was really nice. I really like it. And I will show you later on. Give it a like if you like. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Bye-bye.